Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the voltage divider rule and its application uh, in the MOSFET transistor and how, to, how this voltage divider rule is a very uh, easy way for you to find uh, the gate voltage. Okay. So, what is the voltage divider rule? If you're given a source okay, and a resistor 1 and a resistor R2 okay, that's R1, that's R2, okay, and that's Vs, okay, that's the source. Let's call it V for now, okay, and you want to find the voltage over R1, Vr1. So Vr1 equals the voltage of the source, which is the voltage across these two resistors, okay, multiplied by R1 over R1 plus R2. Okay? So if you have a voltage source, what does this equation say? It says that if you have a voltage source and this voltage source is supplying two resistors and these two resistors are in series, so the current passes through, passing through the first is the same as the current passing through the second, then the voltage of the, uh, of the resistor, the first resistor, is equal to the voltage of the source multiplied by the ratio of the resistors. How much fraction this resistor is taking compared to that resistor, okay? And you'll find that if this resistor, if R1 is greater than R2, then you expect Vr1 to be greater than Vr2, okay? This is Vr2. Okay. Similarly, Vr2 equals V multiplied by R2 over R1 plus R2. Okay. If we take some numbers, if we take some numbers, we find that let's put this to be one kilo ohm, and to put this to be two kilo ohms. Okay then and this voltage source is 10 volts okay so 10 volts 2 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm then you'll find that v over the r1 equals 10 volts multiplied by 1 over 1 plus 2 equals that's 1k 1k 2k equals 10 over 3 equals approximately 3.33 volts and VR2 equals 10 over 2 over 3 multiplied by 2 over 3 equals 6.667 volts okay so the smaller resistor is taking less amount of voltage than this one but remember that this has to be in series okay these two resistors have to be in series so let's take Let's apply this example on the MOSFET. Okay, let's apply this example on the MOSFET. MOSFET transistor. R G1 and this is RG2 B D D and this is B D D okay R D R S okay so what does the circuit mean this circuit means that you have a voltage source here plus minus connected to the ground which means that it's virtually connected to here Okay, we just draw it uh, connected to the ground and it is understood by convention that these two are connected together. And we're assuming that the gate current equals zero. Okay, and that's why we can apply the voltage divider rule here. What is the voltage of the gate Vg relative to the ground is the same as V. R G2. 
Why? Because the voltage of the gate compared to the ground is the same as the voltage of the resistor, which is the voltage of this node compared to the ground. Okay? So this is equal to RG2 over RG1 plus RG2 multiplied by VDD which is the voltage of the source VDD okay so note that the voltage of the gate is the same as the voltage of the resistor okay and that's pretty much the straightforward way to uh, have a look uh, to uh, to get the voltage of the gate straightforward put it put the, the voltage divider rule and uh, substitute by the numbers and the uh, and you'll get the final answer very quickly and instead of you doing a KVL and calculating the current in this, uh, this non-easy way. Okay, let's take another example where you have VDD and you have VSS. VSS VDD. Okay, so here you do not have the ground anymore as you did have it here. So what does this circuit mean? It means that you have a voltage source, positive negative, connected to the ground. And here you have a voltage source, positive negative, connected to the ground. So VSS here is the value of this voltage source. So it's as if we are connecting the negative to the negative because this is connected to the ground and this is connected to the ground as well so the RG1 so sorry the RG2 its terminal is not connected to the VDD anymore that's a VDD voltage source or value VDD the VDD is not connected to the resistor anymore and that's why you cannot directly apply this uh, this voltage divider rule to get the value of the gate directly it needs a trick. The trick is, let's first know what we want to get. We want to get VG. Okay? VG equals the voltage of the gate compared to the ground. So it's not the voltage of the resistor anymore. Okay? It's the, previously it was the voltage of the resistor by chance, only by chance, by coincidence. Why? Because the voltage of the resistor is the same as the voltage of the gate. The resistor is connected to the ground. However, here it is not the case. Okay, here it is the voltage of the resistor plus the voltage VSS, the voltage of the source SS. Okay, so, and that's why VG equals VRG2 plus VSS. Okay, so what is VRG2? VRG2 equals the voltage of these two resistors, 1 and 2, that's RG1, multiplied by RG2 over RG1 plus RG2. Okay, so what is the value of the voltage V? Actually, if you look here, you'll find that this resistor and this resistor have two voltage sources connected together and the two voltage sources are in series okay so that's why you can calculate the uh, the voltage value of these two resistors together to be VDD minus VSS okay VDD why did I take VDD minus VSS not VDD uh, not VSS minus VDD so do not confuse yourself it's not VSS minus VDD no this is wrong Okay, why? Because the voltage, I'm assuming that if I take KVL, I'm assuming that the voltage of the resistor, and uh, the voltage is in this, in this upper direction, which is the same as this direction. Okay, so the voltage is defined from the negative to the positive. So VDD here is the value that is taking the, uh, the, uh, the positive, that is taking the value of the positive, and VSS is subtracted to take the this effect. So I could I could change this and put it here 
minus plus, and this becomes the ground, okay, and this is VSS, okay, and this becomes VSS, okay, and this is why these two voltages are subtracted from each other. So you take a direction where you want to find the, uh, the, the, the voltage on the two resistors, which is this upper direction, okay, which is the same as the direction of the VDD. And that's why it is VDD minus VSS, not VSS minus VDD. Okay? So this becomes VG equals VDD minus VSS multiplied by RG1 over RG2 plus RG1 plus VSS, which is this equation. So I substitute by this VG VRG2 with this term. Okay. So the the bottom line, the main idea of this uh, this circuit is that if you are given two resistors VDD RG2 RG1, and that's the gate voltage. Okay. And here you are whether it is VSS positive or negative, zero or any, whatever the, that number is, you do not really care. All you care about is the VG, which is the gate that is related to the RG2. It's not exactly RG2, but it is related to RG2. And that's why you need to subtract these two voltages from each other, VDD minus VSS, and multiply them by this RG2, and some the two resistors, RG1 plus RG2, then add the VSS, then add this VSS. If you're not convinced by this formula, what you could do is that you could take a KVL in this loop, okay, in this loop, uh, that's, a, that's a complete loop, and uh, you get the same, the same answer, okay. So what if VSS was, a, was a 10 and this was 20, then this number is 20 minus 10. What if this was negative 10, then this number is 20 minus minus 10, okay? So even if this VSS was a negative number, then 20 minus that negative number. So this is derived uh, for, the, for a general case, for a general VSS, whether it is positive or negative, okay? I hope this helps uh, clarify a little bit the, how to get the, drain, the gate voltage because it is extremely important in these MOSFET uh, circuits. Whenever you have a MOSFET circuit, you tend to, uh, to neglect the IG and these two resistors become in series and you, you have to drive the gate voltage in a very, very easy way and a very uh, simple way so that it doesn't take much time if you were in an exam. Okay? So the best way that I advise you to do is to follow this step, which is take, subtract the two voltages from each other, the top minus the bottom, okay, or the top minus the bottom here, which is VSS, okay, the top minus VSS, okay, and then multiply it by the ratio plus VSS. And remember that this resistor is what we're interested in, not that one, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.